The electrocardiogram, ECG or EKG, is a test that measures the electrical activity of the heart and provides important information about the heart's rhythm and rate. The EKG trace shows the electrical impulses that cause the heart to beat, and the rate at which these impulses occur can give important information about the heart's health. The first method to determine the rate is called the six-second method. The first step of this method is to choose a six-second interval on the EKG tracing. To determine the six-second interval, you need to count 30 large boxes or 150 small boxes on your EKG paper. These arrows point the boundaries of six seconds on this EKG strip. The next step is to count the number of QRS complexes, the main deflection on the EKG trace within that interval. Once you have counted the number of QRS complexes within the six second interval, you multiply that number by 10 to obtain the heart rate in BPM. So in this example, there are 10 QRS complexes in this six second strip. 10 times 10 equals 100. Therefore this strip is 100 beats per minute. This provides an estimation of the heart rate, which is expressed as beats per minute, BPM. It's important to note that an EKG rhythm can sometimes be irregular, making it difficult to accurately determine the rate. In such cases, you may need to count the number of QRS complexes over a longer time interval, such as 12 seconds, to get a more accurate estimate of the heart rate. The six-second method is quite advantageous compared to the other methods of rate determination in which it can be utilized for both regular and irregular rhythms. The next method of determining the heart rate on an EKG strip is called the large block or box method, which is also known as the 300 method. One large box or block is made up of 25 small boxes or blocks. As you can see in this illustration, one large box or block is five small boxes tall and five small boxes wide. You need to count the number of large boxes or blocks between two QRS complexes. Then you divide 300 by the number of large boxes or blocks to obtain your heart rate. In this example, we count three large boxes between two QRS complexes as indicated by the arrows. We then divide 300 by three large boxes and we get 100. Therefore, the heart rate in this strip is 100 beats per minute. The 300 method can only be used on regular rhythms and not on irregular rhythms. The third method of determining the heart rate is called the small box or block method, also known as the 1500 method. Let's do the 1500 method on this familiar EKG strip. We did the 300 method on this same strip earlier and we got a heart rate of 100 beats per minute. We mark two successive QRS complexes, as shown here with arrows. We then count the number of small boxes or blocks between these two QRS complexes. To calculate the heart rate, we divide 1500 by the total number of small boxes between the two QRS complexes. In this example, it will be 1500 divided by 15 and a half. This gives us a heart rate of 96.8 or round it up to 97 beats per minute. This is close to the 100 beats per minute we got from the 300 method. Just like the 300 method, the 1500 method can only be used on regular rhythms, but not on irregular rhythms. And so to summarize, we have three methods of determining the heart rate of an EKG strip. 1. The 6 second method wherein we count the number of QRS complexes in a 6-second portion and multiply that by 10. We can use this method for both regular and irregular rhythms. 2. The 300 method, wherein we divide 300 by the number of big boxes or blocks between two consecutive QRS complexes to get the beats per minute. This method cannot be used on irregular rhythms. 3. The 1500 method, wherein we divide 1500 by the number of small boxes or blocks between two consecutive QRS complexes to get the beats per minute. This method also cannot be used on irregular rhythms. Thank you for watching. Subscribe and hit the like button.